If you could ask God one question right now, what would it be? A survey asked that, and one-third of the people who responded to that questionnaire said they would ask God, what is the purpose of my life? Would that be your question for God today? Or has that ever been a question for God from you? I suspect that we all are familiar with that question. And so the first reading today from the prophet Jeremiah has God saying this to Jeremiah. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I have appointed you. Those words are also addressed to us. God has known us before he formed us in our mother's womb. Before we were born, we were dedicated by God to a purpose, to a mission. And God will see that purpose through. Now, we can wonder, though, can't we? Some people seem to know very clearly what their purpose is in life. Other people seem to have a pretty good notion of what it is, and other people are searching, especially our young, with that question, Lord, what do you want me to do with my life? God never makes a mistake in creating a human person. Every single one of us was created by God in love and given a purpose for our living. There was a little boy that came home from school and his mom said, what'd you learn in school today? And he said, well, in religion class, we learned this really dumb song. <laughs> she said, well, what was the song? And he said, well, it was all about how we're supposed to be the sunbeams of Jesus in our world. She said, well, what's so dumb about that? And he said, well, I don't want to be a sunbeam. I want to be a fireman. <laughs> well, we all are the sunbeams carrying Christ's light into our world, no matter what our calling. We all have a purpose, and God loves every single one of us. You and I matter to God. We struggle with that oftentimes as people. Do I really matter to God? The answer is yes. We question that because very often we take what we've learned from our relationships with other people and think God is just like that. We associate with people sometimes that don't seem to like us how we really are. And so we try to adjust our lives to their expectations. We wear masks, don't we? We try to pretend that we're someone other than we really are because we want the approval of other people. And sometimes we get wearing those masks so long that we even see ourselves through those masks. A deep question for so many people is this. If you really knew me, would you like me? If you really knew me, would you love me? And so, so often we pretend. We create an image of ourselves that's not really the one God created for us. In answer to that question from God is this. Yes, 
I know everything about you. I know how you've messed up. I know how you will mess up in the future. I love you right now, warts and all. Or as we read in Scripture, while we were still sinners, Christ loved us and died for us on the cross. We mean everything to God, so much so that he did send his son. We have a purpose. We matter to God. A lady was leaving church one day, and she said to the priest, please keep reminding me that God cares about me, that I mean something to God because that thought carries me through my daily living and helps me to make sense out of it. We have purpose, we matter to God, and God is with us all the time. Jeremiah had a little difficulty because God had appointed him to be a prophet. And Jeremiah was thinking that that meant he had to do this all by himself, and that was a great responsibility on his shoulders. And God said, no, no, you got it wrong, Jeremiah. I have appointed you as prophet, and as the reading finishes today, and I will be with you to defend you. God is with us, helping us to carry out what God has appointed us to do. We matter to God. There's a verse that I like. It's not terribly profound. But so often in life, it's the things that are so simple that really get to our hearts. And here's the verse. If God had a refrigerator, your picture would be on it. If God had a wallet, your photo would be inside it. God sends you flowers every spring, and God sends you a sunrise every single morning. Whenever you want to talk, God will listen. God can live anywhere in the world, anywhere in the universe, and God has chosen to live in your heart. What about the Christmas gift that God sent you in Bethlehem? Not to mention that Friday on Mount Calvary. Face it, friend. God is crazy about you. Do you believe that? That God is crazy about you? Please try to believe that because it will color the way that you spend the life that God has given you. If you know that you have purpose, that you mean everything to God, and that God is with you, knowing that God is crazy about you and me really puts meaning, really puts our heart in our living.